Today was one of those leave the game early games. Maybe you literally are leaving the game early. I wouldn't blame you, although it is does feel good. 31 now to 7 to New England. New England just scored their first points of the game with 13.43 left in the game. Maybe you're at home and you're saying, ha, I'm going in the backyard, I'm going to barbecue, I'm going to start really boozing, or I'm just going to start watching other games. This is one of those games where you say, leave the game early. So if you're rolling out of Hard Rock Stadium right now and you want to jump in, I'm here for you. I'm Dan Day, by the way. 305-567-0560, the number to call and celebrate. And, you know, 31-7, to it's not really even that close. Couldn't happen to a better team. You will get no sympathy when it comes to the New England Patriots, a team that ran the league for 20 years. Yeah. No sympathy, no shame for the New England Patriots to get whooped like they're getting whooped right now by the Miami Dolphins. And if you're a Dolphins fan, celebrate. If you're a Patriots fan and you want to say, no, it's not fair. We, 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 Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, we want more championships. Boo-hoo. Call up. 305-567-0560. Today was one of those days where you felt like the Dolphins They've had their struggles. Could be one of those days where they jump in there and make it happen. What was the knock on this Dolphins team last year? A lot of fun, a lot of scoring. But at the end of the season, when the going got tough, when the teams got good, they did not get going. Maybe, just maybe, Mike McDaniel and this organization saw what happened last year and rectified it and said, no, we have to change things. This needs to be a different team, a different makeup, so we have a different result. And lo and behold, we had our rough start. And yes, we had a rough start even when Tua Tonga Valoa was playing. Remember, we barely beat Jacksonville, and Jacksonville's not that good. We were getting whooped by the Bills before Tua got hurt. Tua went out. The backup quarterback situation was absolutely horrendous. I'm sorry. This is game day uncensored. I'll say it. Backup quarterback situation horrendous. Skylar Thompson maybe in the USFL or whatever next year. He might not even be in the NFL next year. We don't need him with the Dolphins. Snoop Huntley, best of luck. You tried your best. Ugh. Tim Boyle, no. Tua's back now, and now Tua has proven he's worth every penny that we paid him for what he does on the field. Now, his injury, maybe you could say you shouldn't have paid him, but he's worth every penny for what he does for this Dolphins team on the field. Maybe this team has been built now to start peaking. And I know a lot of Dolphins fans are going to say this. Well, it might be a little too late. I don't know about that. And I know you're riding a high on three-game win streak. And, you know, the argument is, you know, it's not the strongest three-game win streak. It's a three-game win streak. You beat the teams that were ahead of you. You've got your team back. You're starting to get healthy. you got a three-game win streak. You're still alive in the playoffs. And you've got dogs on this team that believe in this team. It was revealed earlier this week that Calais Campbell, at some point when we're two and six, was asked about a possible trade. He said, no, I want to stay here. I believe in these guys. Mike McDaniel said, don't give up on us. And now this team is slowly creeping back to where they need to be. And maybe, just maybe if you're a Dolphins fan, peaking at the right time. Instead of last year where you peaked too early, like a supernova, and then burnt out at the end. Maybe this team, slow burner, frustrating, nonetheless, at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, boom, white hot, and then playing best ball at the end of the season and playing a conducive type of ball to playoff football. A little more running, a little less gadgetry, a defense that we all know defense travels. Ain't no need for a home or away game. If your defense is good, it is good. Oh, yeah. By the way, Chop Robinson, who people were saying, is he even on this team? He's starting to make his name known a little bit in this league, too. Gets a big sack today. Dolphins out four sacks so far in the game. This defense playing like men possessed. Calais Campbell, don't call him 38 years old. Call him a man. Zach Sealer gets another strip sack. Ever since Sealer's been back, those two games, we got run up and down the field. Remember, Zach Sealer was out with the bad eye. Zach Sealer is back now. This defense is strong. Jalen Ramsey out there. Drake May is running for his life. He is getting knocked around. Seriously, the Dolphins score another touchdown. They may consider pulling Drake May from this game because it's hazardous to his health. Putting it on the New England Patriots. And once again, no sorrow from us, especially since we've been in the same division for 20 or 30 years, having to deal with them. 
but really the rest of the league, you know what? No boohoo, no pity. You can't whoop that team enough. And, you know, beat them while they're down. Yeah. They did it for a long time. They beat up on everybody for a long time, and they never took their foot off your throat. That's why I say I'm not a big guy about blowing people out. You know what? Don't run trick plays if you're Mike McDaniel, but at the same time, don't just start kneeling the ball either. Keep running your game. Keep running plays. If you beat them 50 to 7, that's okay with me also. 305 567 0560, the number to call if you want to get in on this so far glorious Dolphins game. About 13 minutes left in the game. Miami is up 31 to 7. Miami will most likely, and you know, I don't know, they are going to go five and six on the season. And oh no, don't, don't, don't look now. Thursday night, Thanksgiving night, 8 20 kickoff in Green Bay. You get a Green Bay team that is up and down, just like their quarterback, Jordan Love. I love him because he's unpredictable as hell. He'll make the greatest play I've ever seen in professional football one minute and then look like he doesn't know what the game of football is the next minute. You can go in there with your whole season, quote unquote, on the line. Go into Green Bay Thursday night, get that win, and all of a sudden you're right there at 500, six and six, and you don't have the murderer's row ahead of you that you thought you had at the beginning of the season. Chance to go in there win these games and get it going. A lot of people were saying, and we talked to Adam Beasley on the pregame show before saying, you know, this is one of those games for the Dolphins today. You win and you keep hope alive, you lose, and it's all about the draft. Well, put a hold on the draft right now. And for those people that say, yeah, well, you know what's going to happen. We're going to end up faltering somewhere down the line and we're only hurting our draft stock. Uh -uh. I don't want to hear that right now. What I want to hear is Dolphins putting it on teams. Three-game win streak. I don't want to hear, yeah, but look who it was against. Three-game win streak. They go into Green Bay Thursday night for a chance to even up their record at 500 and keep their playoff hopes alive. For now, the playoff hopes are alive. Tua Tungvaloa looks absolutely wonderful. Jalen Waddle, for everyone that says maybe they should trade Jalen Waddle, they're paying him a ton of money to do nothing, has a immaculate day so far. The offense starts clicking. New England gets it to them. The defense is great. Zach Sealer with another sack. Oh, things are looking good. And maybe, just maybe, like I said, this team is trending up at the end of the season as opposed to last year trending down. Last year was a fun ride. And then all of a sudden it wasn't. Maybe this year will be the total opposite. Not a very fun ride at the beginning. Let's be honest about that. Not a very fun ride from the Dolphins at the beginning, especially when Tua Tungvaloa was out for those four weeks on the IR with a concussion. But it's starting to get fun. It's starting to feel good. These Dolphins starting to make you believe. Mike McDaniel in the preseason, one of the things we said, you have to learn how to adjust. Can't look like a deer in the headlights when Tua gets hurt in the Tennessee game or when something doesn't go your way. You have to learn to adjust. And maybe just maybe Mike McDaniel is adjusting right now and has adjusted. And this team has adjusted. And this team getting healthy. And oh yeah, Bradley Chubb could come back at some point this season. What if we do keep this win streak alive for another week or two and Bradley Chubb comes back? That's a great addition to a team that seems to be hitting their stride right now. How do you feel about it? 305 5670560. We'll take your calls. Of course, you can also text in. You can go to the YouTube and Twitch because we are live on YouTube and Twitch. Put in your comments. These days, well, we'd say few and far between, but they're not. We're on a three game win streak. Beat up some teams, beat the Rams. Okay, Rams are a 500 team, they're pretty decent. Beat the Raiders. A lot of people think the Raiders are not good. They beat the Ravens earlier this year. Now you've beaten, or you're going to beat. The New England Patriots, who not a very good team. Let's be honest. Drake May did not impress me as a great quarterback. I still to this day don't think great Drake May is going to be a great quarterback. Now, he doesn't have a lot to work with over there in New England. But you look at guys when they come into the league. Even Caleb Williams having a pretty decent day. Jaden Daniels, he's having kind of a rough day. But you see these guys and you know, yeah, they're going to be good. Like when Joe Burrow came into the league, you're like, yeah, this guy is going to be good. Drake May doesn't come in and strike me as, whoa, this guy's going to be good, even though he doesn't have an offensive line or even though he's the youngest quarterback in the league and all this stuff. Drake May was running for his life, but I just don't think he has it. He definitely does not have it today. It has not been a Drake May day. It has been all about Tua Tungvaloa, Calais Campbell, Zach Sealer, Mike McDaniel, Jalen Waddell, 
getting it in the end zone. Devon Achan getting to the end zone twice. Devon Achan has been our secret weapon, and now it's not so secret anymore. Our biggest offensive weapon all season, it seems like. It is Tua's go-to guy. Jonu Smith continues his unbelievable play. Jonu Smith, another one of those guys at the beginning of the season. Is he on the team? What is he doing here? What's going on? Now, all of a sudden, it's like, man, that Jonu Smith has got it going on. The Miami Dolphins have it rolling right now as they're trying to put the finishing touches on the New England Patriots. It's 31 to 7 with about 12 minutes left in the game. The Patriots are on fourth down. They're on like the 30 yard line. They're going to have to punt most likely. Chop Robinson seems to be coming into his own. And yes, if you're saying, Dan Day, why are you just pumping sunshine? Well, today's a sunshiny type of day. It's beautiful weather here in South Florida. Beautiful football being played. Miami Hurricanes yesterday took care of Wake Forest. They controlled their own destiny. And you just feel like, even though technically, mathematically, the Dolphins don't control their own destiny, you feel like if they can keep this winning going, they'll have some control into getting into the playoffs. And like I said, this is a team with the defense. This is a team with the running game. This is a team that kind of seems like they have it schemed up a little bit different this year to be a team that can win late in the season. And we'll see against good teams. Once again, I can't lie and say, oh, no, we've beaten good teams. Uh, The best team we've beaten this year, I got you. It is the Los Angeles Rams, who at one point were really bad, but they're getting healthy too. This team's healthy, getting healthy, seems to have been through the worst of the storm. Now let's try to have some fun with it. Miami Dolphins looking to go forward, stay healthy, win games, and make a push for the playoffs. Oh, man. Thursday night is going to be a fun one. Talk about meaningful football for the whole world to see. 820. Thanksgiving night. Don't eat too much turkey or tofu turkey, however you want to do it, because you want to be up for that one. Don't have too much Red Stripe or Bloody Marys or whatever during the day. Grandpa's cough syrup during the day. You want to be focused on this game because a couple of weeks ago, if you'd have told us, hey, Thanksgiving night's going to mean something, we'd say, <laughs> what, what draft pick we're going to get overall? No, 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 no. This is the chance now for the Miami Dolphins to go in there get a win, get to 500, beat a good team at home in prime time in nasty weather and defy some of the critics. Not saying the people that wanted to punt on the season earlier this year were wrong. All I'm saying is you got to be very slow to punt sometimes on seasons. Not saying that this is a playoff team yet, but I'm saying they're trending in the right direction. Not saying this team has beaten anybody good yet, although the Rams are pretty decent. But they're beating teams now later in the season. I'm not saying this defense is top. Well, I am saying this defense is one of the top defenses in the league. They showed all the numbers. Anthony Weaver has been absolutely fantastic this year. And like I said, if you ask Drake May if this defense is good, he'll tell you. Whoo! He just threw an airmail pass to nobody. There was not even Dolphins in the screen where he just threw the pass. Uh, Clayus Campbell is on his you-know-what. Drake May going to have to take some ice baths and relax after today because they got to him really big time it's Dolphins team like I said it's not where you like mama Big Lynn always said not where you start it's where you finish and this team looking to finish and like I said I know a lot of work to do big hole that they dug for themselves but still gives you hope you're playing meaningful football you're playing your best football of the season and you're winning games Once again, the Patriots on fourth down going for it. They can't complete a pass. They had turnover on downs with 11 minutes to go, 31 to 7. Dolphins on their own side of the field. Once again, Mike McDaniel. I'm not saying to run Statue of Liberty plays or hooks and ladders or inside pitches or anything crazy, but I'm not saying take the foot off the gas. This is the New England Patriots team that for 20 years plus killed everybody. Unprecedented run. Had one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, if not the greatest quarterback of all time. A team that made us here in Miami miserable. A team that had kept us out of the playoffs and kept us basically not single-handedly. We did our own parts too. But they were a major reason why this team has not won a playoff game in 24 years. Tua Blow has been pulled from the game. Skylar Thompson is now in the game. If you're not leaving the stadium now, you are hardcore 
I don't blame you. You can stay in the stadium, but if you're leaving, I also don't blame you. You don't need to see the sky's the limit. A lot of running's going to be happening now. Get Jalen Wright some run. Get some of these other guys some run. Get these starters out of here. Once again, health been a big issue on why the Dolphins have been playing better. Tua Tungvaloa having a big day. Dolphins looking good. Janu Smith getting in the end zone. Devon Achan getting in the end zone twice. And Jalen Waddle. End zone, baby. Dolphins keeping it going with this season. New England. Two doesn't lose to New England. Never lost to the New England Patriots. Doesn't matter if it's Bill Belichick. Doesn't matter if it's Gerard Mayo. Well, I'm just saying. We don't lose to the Patriots, it seems like, lately. Oh, Jalen Wright did fumble. And, oh, Skylar Thompson cannot tackle. They could be. This could be a fumble return for a touchdown. It is going to be. So, 31-14. to 14, Still not getting very nervous, but maybe you pulled two a little too soon. I don't know. Nah. No worries in this one right now. No worries at all. It has been a good day to be a Dolphins fan. Hopefully more good days to come. Thanksgiving. Something to be thankful for. Meaningful football. Meaning that we're not looking at where could we possibly end up in the draft. Meaning we go in there. This is a true litmus test. The true litmus test is Thanksgiving night in Green Bay in colder weather. Don't know what it's going to be like completely, but it's probably not going to be very nice. Against a good team. Like I said, though, they're an up and down team like their quarterback, Jordan Love. Sometimes a great, sometimes bewildering, but a good Green Bay team won a playoff game last year, even though it was against the Dallas Cowboys. None that almost beat the 49ers. People forget about that. Bad weather in San Francisco for once. But if you go in Thursday, it's a true litmus test. This is a Dolphins team that goes in Thursday night and we see who they really are. You can say at the beginning of the season, they were going through some growing pains or maybe. Tua Tung of Low was hurt. You could say right now, they're coming into their own. They're getting healthy. Well, all that will be answered. Which team are we going to get? Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? Thursday night, right here. Right here. 560 WQM. We've got the pregame starting at 4 o'clock. I'm going to be postgame with my cousin Vladimir Louison. That is going to be starting at around 11.30, going to 1.30. We're going to keep the party going. Of course, the party continues to go. Patriots did just score, as I said. No worries, though. No worries. Actually, I think they went for two. They went with a hook and ladder. So 31 to 15 right now. So it is a 16-point game. Dolphins will stay in control. Let's keep this celebration going. Skylar Thompson is in. No more fumble handoff. Let them pick scoop and scores. Dolphins, let's just put this team to bed. Like I said, Mike McDaniel, I don't always, I don't always like running up scores, but if they're not stopping you, just keep it going. It is, yeah, I do feel pretty bad. Menu just texted him. Skylar Thompson is a bum. It does suck that he gets in the game. We automatically fumble. They scoop and score. Like I said, quarterback situation atrocious earlier this year when Tua went out. And I mean atrocious to the point where, like I said, Skylar Thompson might be in the USL next year. I'm just saying, not in the NFL. Let's see what he does in these last 10 minutes. Tua Tungvalo and those guys, nothing better than that. I don't know if you ever played sports or not. Nothing better than when you and the starting guys go out there and put a whooping on a team, and you could sit out early and just joke around with your guys and feel good about what you've done and let some of the other guys get some more run and just laugh and have fun. And that's what these Dolphins are doing right now to a not-so-good New England team, but a New England organization that had a long time coming to them. Had a long time coming to them. 305-567-0560. You can call in if you're leaving the Dolphins game. If you're just turning the Dolphins game off and saying, let's celebrate and party. This is where the party's at. I am Dan Day. Solo dolo till 445, leading you up to the Heat game that is going to be against the Dallas Mavericks tonight. Now, a team that Western Conference champions last year. Remember, they lost to the Boston Celtics in the finals. No Luka tonight, though. So you never know with Jimmy. Probably you'll get Jimmy tonight. Nonetheless, right now, we are celebrating this Dolphins game. Skylar Thompson out of the game. Tua Tungvaloa back in. Mike McDaniel said, uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. We're not playing around anymore. Tua, get back in there. Skylar, go sit down. Go sit down, Skylar. Go sit down. Get in there. And it really, I don't think it was so much of his fault, although he did hand the ball off to Jalen Wright and it was a mishandle. But now Tua's back in, throwing it to Johnny Smith. Johnny Smith catching a first down. And Dolphins are just finally, Mike McDaniel's not going to play with fire. 